At Ketanji Brown Jackson's confirmation hearing, Republican Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn famously asked her this question. Uh, can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? N not in okay. this context. So I'm not a biologist. And so Huffington Post reporters Arthur Delaney and Jen Bendery went around Capitol Hill uh, the last couple days posing the same question to members of the <laughs> Judiciary Committee. Got some pretty funny responses. Several people, perhaps wisely, uh, just brushed the question off. Uh, Senator John Kennedy said, I don't have anything for you on that. Uh, Senator John Cornyn said, But not like that. I don't have anything I, for you on that. I don't have anything for you on that. <laughs> Uh, John Cornyn, I'm not going to indulge you. Uh, let's see, who else we got? Uh, Ted Cruz said, oh, no, that, no, they did not get Ted Cruz. Hold on. There's, there's some other good ones in here. Uh, Tom, Senator Tom Tillis, Republican of North Carolina, he said, uh, I have more of a traditional view of what a woman is. And they said, what is that? And he said, my wife. His okay. wife is the only woman. Yeah, that's the, the only, last woman. The only woman. <laughs> Mrs. Tillis. Uh, so Lindsey Lindsey Graham said, oh, you know, Lindsey Graham, all right. Lindsey Graham said, uh, it's someone who is, quote, biologically a woman. And then he said, the birds and the bees stuff. It's been a while, but I think I remember the general gist of the differences. To have a hard mm -hmm. time answering that question is kind of odd to me. Okay, that's Lindsey Graham. And yeah. then Mike Lee uh, said, an adult female of the human species which actually is basically the Webster right. definition. But I don't like so when, he, you shouldn't no. be able to define a word with but the with word the, like, with the word. Right? what is a woman? Well, a woman is a woman, no, stop. You can't, <laughs> you have to say something different or else it's a right. tautology. I um, agree. Yeah. I agree. Can we go, can we go with that, chromosomes? So, is that legal and no, allowed? If you have two X you cannot, chromosomes, you're a woman? You cannot, no, you cannot use chromosomes. And there's Why a reason not? for that. It's because there are some people who have a disorder and even uh, I believe that there is a famous person with this, but I'm not going to say who because I think that would be, you know, it's like well, I, I, it's not verified, but it is a, a, when you're in the womb, you can actually have XY chromosomes and and there's a disorder that doesn't read the Y chromosome and it defaults, and for, you know, I hate to say it like this, but the default gender is female. So when males if the if the hormones in the body if the right. system cannot read the y it automatically defaults to female the baby is born with female genitalia but i believe does not have a uterus or is unable to reproduce so but they present female they'll look female they'll grow up female they'll have female body parts they'll be female that, but they but, just but cannot that reproduce. doesn't necessarily just prove like most which what, do leopards have spots or cheetahs leopards have leopard never changes its spots spots or stripes she didn't ever. I can't even remember spots. which one. But one of them has one of them, and but there's. I'm sure somewhere there's some mutant uh, leopard who yeah. who doesn't have spots or stripes or whatever it is. It's, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean it's wrong to say leopards have whatever, right? There are exceptions think, to every category. Yeah, I mean, I think you could probably uh, say, maybe safely say a woman is an adult uh, human with a vagina. I think you could maybe say that. Now okay, there are people fine. obviously that have both and they right. would get to choose potentially right. which gender they are. And I think that's the only group that maybe can biologically, legitimately, medically decide right. um, in that way, like, you know, the, where it's unclear. The doctors do not know when the child is born. Uh, so maybe you could put it that, maybe, I don't know. Well, Josh, Josh Hawley tried a version of that. He said, quote, someone who can give birth to a child a mother uh, no. is a woman. Someone who has a uterus is a woman. It doesn't seem uh, that complicated to me. He said, but yeah. No. Well, so then they pressed and they said, well, so if a woman has her uterus removed by a hysterectomy, is she still a woman? Right. Right. And uh, Josh Hawley says, yeah, well, I don't know. Would they? No, so that's so right. So. <laughs> that's where it gets complicated is because there are actual right. medical The obvious instances. answer is yes. Like, of right. course, that person is still a woman. Right. right. Obviously. Right. 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 But I um, think it, it does get complicated because of the medical. There are medical exam. There are medical examples of, you know, these very rare cases that make it not as straightforward as to just say, if you have a uterus and a vagina, then you're a female. Nothing like is completely not straightforward. straightforward, but that's fairly straightforward, most, though. I mean, for the, the most, overwhelming right. majority of people who fit into into the category of women have 
female reproductive right, organs. sex organs sure. and yes. an XX chromosomes. And so ultimately that's, works right. for me. Basically what Marshall right. Blackburn's that's trying to do here, Marshall Blackburn's trying to say Leah Thomas is not a woman. Like that's basically right. mm -hmm. the politics that she wants to to go towards. She's a trans, trans woman, woman. Right. right with a I, somewhat di right. You can just say she's a trans woman, right? Not right. all women fit into the category I just outlined, such as trans but women, like such as trans women. But most, I, but I, I, the right. overwhelming ninety-nine percent of women meet this category, and then there are trans women who are also women and do not fit those. Although they can, but, if they change certain well, right, aspects right, right. to their of their body, right, right. then they can fit. Right. Some of those. So, yeah, that, I mean, but it is actually challenging. But then again, you know, what's even even more difficult, I think, is what is a man? I think that's actually a more right. difficult question to answer because, you know, you, it's not only biological, like what they're talking about with women. But then on top of it, there's always like, are you a man? Are you a man? Are you still a boy? Right? Like there's the societal. If you can't, if you can't change your oil, then you're, uh, no. uh, I'm, you're I'm not a man. <laughs> I'm going to fail most of these categories. <laughs> are you a real man? Before we get into that. But uh, no, I, I just don't like when we, we're, like, obsessive categorization always goes astray. We're all individuals. We're all different. They're all things that make us unique and hard to, whenever you get a group of people to say, well, these are all X. Well, oh, but wait, what about that? Like, that's always just how it goes because clunky categorization and group identity is the wrong way to think about people. We are all individuals, which is the most important and most oppressed minority of all. The You're individual. sounding so woke right now, Robbie. <laughs> I don't think it's woke. Like, I think it's uh, it's so anti. Woke. No, it, no, it's anti woke because the woke want to put us into categories. They want to say, no, you're a this or you're a that. And I'm saying, no, you're not. You're Kim. You're Ryan. You're <laughs> right, just so, you. You're so just you. Get you rid don't of all belong to some oppressive labels. collective. Robbie's as well, a is as an individual. Right. 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 I'm, I'm actually expressing then. the the Randian view of how people work, but uh, I'm just then, so won't? there's no yeah. labeling whatsoever, no gent, no females, no males, just Robbie, Kim. Robbie. Then I want my own bathroom, just for me, everywhere I go. Well, the, that's the dream of all uh, all adults. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't be surprised that Ted Cruz is the only one that got the quiz right. He said, "quote an adult female human unquote," which is precisely what's in the dictionary. The reporters then accused him of having just read the dictionary after the hearing, and he said, I just happened to speak English. <laughs> I well, think he you, looked it up. There you go.